Okay, so this is a video for Rubik's Master. I can't remember if there are any numbers in his YouTuber username. So I just call him Rubik's Master. I'm pretty sure everyone knows who he is. But this is a video request for him. He has a Compact Armada 1700, a laptop that I've been looking for for a long time to go with my Armada collection. This is a Compact Armada 1750, a newer model of the 1700. They're basically sisters, but the only thing that's different about the 1700 and the 1750 is the frame on the screen. That's the only thing that's different. I can take the 1700 screen off and put it on here if I want. They both have the same parts. I don't know why Compaq made two laptops that are virtually identical, but they both have different parts. Uh, the 1700 is known to have 64 megs of RAM, so I've heard, and the 1750 has 128 megs. I don't know. I don't own a 1700, I just own 1750. Now, Rubik's Master wants to know how to install a hard drive the proper way. There's a lot of problems that can go wrong. And how to install the RAM. So first I'm going to talk about the hard drive. Um, I've dealt with people before that have actually installed their hard drive upside down, like that. There's one time where someone asked me to fix their Acer. I told them that you installed the hard drive upside down and that's why nothing's happening. The hard drive wouldn't fire up so I unplugged it flipped it the right way, which is this way, still wouldn't work. So always remember, don't install the hard drive upside down. Make sure you install it face up, like that. So that way you don't short circuit the poor thing. Another thing that could possibly go wrong is one second. This is what people do all the time, and I even have done it before. You see those golden prongs right there? Well, this is what people do they hook up the hard drive, and the only thing that's wrong here is that the top prongs aren't connected. They're plugged into the bottom prongs or jacks, whatever you want to call them. So always make sure that the two prongs, the top and bottom, are connected into these holes. And I don't know if uh, Rubik's Master has, a, has one of these things. The metal plate that prevents the hard drive from flopping around. Now, this is what would usually happen. You see that? The hard drive is just flopping around in there. There is one time where I didn't have this and I was using my laptop it wouldn't boot to the operating system so I picked it up turned it this way and I heard a clunking sound so I took off this plastic cover and found out that the hard drive wasn't even plugged in and it was just bounced around inside 
so they invented these plates for a reason and that reason is to keep this bastard from banging around so geez. so how to install the hard drive make sure this silver plate is point is faced up not upside down make sure your connections are hooked up correctly make sure it's not like that where the prongs are visible you have to make sure they're all connected properly because I killed one of my hard drives by doing that So you see that? Make sure that the prongs aren't visible. And I almost put it back in without putting the metal plate back on. The plate goes on this way. That is if I can get it on. There we go. These four screws here go in this hole, that hole, that hole, and that one. And it keeps the hard drive nice and secure and keeps it from flopping around. Now I just gotta put the screws back in. Make sure they're nice and tight. Not too tight, so that way, because if you tighten them too hard, you might strip them. The camera battery is low, so if the camera shuts off, I probably know why. Oh, my hands are getting sore for this. There we go. So it's all put back together. Now facing, oops, one thing I forgot to do. Always got to put that black sticky thing on the hard drive so it's easier to pull out. So facing this way, just slide it in and push. This black thing helps you pull it out, except for this thing's kind of stuck a little, but it doesn't matter. After that, you put your black cover back on. Apparently my compact has been around a lot. This thing used to be attached to that thing. But the plastic broke off and now this has separated. So, one second. I'm kind of having one of those lazy days where I don't feel like editing the video. We go. Now, how do you install the RAM? Uh, 
very simple. The keyboard has these little holes in it. I don't know if a pocket knife will do anything, but there's these little tabs right down there. So as you can see, I'm sliding the knife towards me. And as you can see, the keyboard pops up. Go on to this side. Pull it towards me. And the keyboard opens up. Now, the keyboard actually comes off like like this. You want to be careful because you don't want to unplug the ribbon cable. It can be a pain in the ass to put back in, depending how much patience and time you have. There's the ramp stick right there. Now, I'm such a dumbass, I could have used this tool. But I decided to use the pocket knife. Now, this computer only has one RAM stick slot. And same with the 1700, it, it too has just one RAM slot. It's very easy. All you have to do is take the dead RAM stick out if there is any. Because I'm pretty sure the reason why your computer isn't having any picture on the screen is probably because the RAM stick burned out. So you slide the RAM stick in there, push firmly, and then you push down. It's all attached. Grab the keyboard, slide it in place, push down until you hear that click. So it's all in place. I'm going to connect mine since the battery no longer works on mine, which is a very sad thing. And turn it on and see if it works. Oh, that light is not working. There we go. Now, apparently, every single model that looks like this the 1750 has the screen problem. So that's a even more big of a pain in the ass for me. So I got picture. Ah, damn it. So it works. got some hard drive action here. That's the floppy drive light, but there's the hard drive light. Don't turn, oh, you just turn white, but it does work. You little shit, damn you. So Rubik's Master, I hope this video was helpful. I hope, hopefully I didn't confuse you. Because sometimes when I'm explaining something, people don't always understand what I'm actually talking about. So hopefully you got this, and um, hope you can fix your compact, because, you know, these things are nice. Especially for their speakers, they're huge. Even though we can't hear anything... Like, since you can't see anything, you can still hear something. So that's good. Um, next, I'm going to show you guys something that I got for free. Something that's pretty cool, and it's a product that I like.